Wanted to make a video. I've recently, uh, over the past year, spent a whole lot of time on audio and sound design. As you guys know, um, a lot of my videos have a lot of voiceovers, a lot of music in it, a lot of extra added sound effects for emphasis. Not to mention, we've also created a podcast, Chill Chats with Andrew and Zoe. Feel free to check it out. We're on Spotify. We'd love to have you listen in. But one of the biggest things that I've found is a lot of people have spent a lot of time and a lot of work nailing the video side of video production. What a lot of people tend to forget about is the audio side. And if you think about a video, it's really 50% of the content. And how important that 50% is can really take that project to the next level. So today, I wanted to make a video really to take you into Premiere Pro to show you four to five very simple, easy methods that you can apply to almost any audio out there that clean it up, give it that high production value, that enable you to reach more viewers, have better entertainment, and overall produce better content. So without further ado, my name's Andrew Stockton. Welcome to Possum Trot Studios. Let's get into this. So first I'm going to show you a commercial that I shot for a local company down in San Marcos called Paddle SMTX. I did a commercial, a short version, uh, about 30 seconds long with a voiceover. So we'll look at the final product first and then we'll go to uh, taking away all of the audio effects to show you exactly what we're doing in order to take a raw audio and get a final production quality out of it. Hey. Just south of Austin, Texas, located on the San Marcos River, you can now go crystal bottom kayaking to escape the riffraff that is in Austin, Texas. Paddle SMTX offers nightly trips with specialized glass bottom kayaks that light up the riverbed as you paddle. Okay, so let's stop it there. Let's look at the same video with raw audio out of the microphone for the voiceover. Hey. Just south of Austin, Texas, located on the San Marcos River, you can now go crystal bottom kayak. Okay, so you get the point. Um, to start off, basically what we're going to do here is I'm going to mute all the other channels that have any audio on it just to be sure that we're only listening to our channel with the, the voiceover. I'm going to go ahead and rename this voiceover so we don't get confused. And basically what we're going to do first is we're going to come up here to the effects panel on the top right, and we're going to apply a hard limiter. The whole reason why we want to apply this hard limiter is because we want to normalize all of the audio levels to a set peaking point. Audio sounds really bad when it's too quiet, too loud, or when it pops the filters. Um, so what we're doing here is we're setting our peaking limit, which for voiceovers, typically I like to limit it to negative three decibels. Now this is totally up to your discretion. Um, you can change this as much as you want. So let's go ahead and look at this and break it down. So maximum amplitude, which would be your peaking limit, uh, such as three decibels or negative three decibels, as we talked about, uh, can be totally moved around either by clicking on this blue text or just grabbing the button and sliding it. So if I set it to peak at negative 37 decibels, we might not ever even hear the sound. Uh, so really we, what we want, what I found through my personal opinion is just go ahead and set this to negative three. Um, input boost is how much gain that you're getting into it. I typically don't touch that look ahead time and release time. I typically leave these alone. Secondly, what I'll add to my audio after the hard limiter is a multiband compressor. So a multiband compressor is great at tightening low frequencies, reducing boom, but adding power to the audio. Treating the low level end with a dedicated band also allows you to apply heavy compression without affecting any of the mid-range frequencies, which really carry that attack of the sound. So we'll go ahead and add this. Then what we do is all that being said, I know what I just said was pretty complicated, but we'll go ahead and just use the Adobe preset, which you're finding to be a theme in this video. We'll go ahead and set that to broadcast. 
As you can see here, we are looking at different thresholds across all frequencies. This is really nice as almost a equalizer tool that I use in almost all of my audio uh, that just really ups that production value in my uh, personal opinion. This would be the one main tool that I go to all the time. Let's go ahead and listen to what just the multiband compressor sounds like. Hey, just south of Austin, Texas, located... So this sounds great. We're tightening those low frequencies, reducing some of that boom. And as you can hear, we're adding a lot of power to that audio. So next, what we're going to do is add our parametric equalizer. So if you come up to the effects section up at the top right and just go ahead and type in para, that'll get you very quickly to parametric equalizer. So what this is, is basically it's adding the fine tunes to your audio to warm the voice. Uh, and most importantly, especially for voiceovers to in uh, improve the clarity. So we don't need to go too much into the details across all of these frequencies of what these need to do. What I like to do personally, again, this is all my opinion is use the Adobe preset, which like I mentioned earlier is something fantastic. The vocal and answer setting. I think this does a very good job at, again, fine tuning the audio by warming up the voice and improving overall clarity. So the final tool uh, or effect that I add here would be the vocal enhancer uh, audio effect. So what this is going to do is just, this is a Adobe Premiere preset that just basically asks you a simple question. The way I look at it is, do you have a higher pitch voice or a lower pitch voice or is this music? So for me, I like the male setting, but really it's gonna be up to you. Um, my best advice is try everything, play with the settings to get that sound that you like but again, for today's lesson, this is just what I do to my audio effects. So let's go ahead and take a listen uh, and see what the final product sounds like. Hey, just south of Austin, Texas, located on the San Marcos River, you can now go crystal bottom kayaking to escape the riffraff that is in Austin, Texas. Thank you so much for watching the video today. Hopefully you got some actionable material that you can take back to your projects, even if it's just one of those steps that helps clean up some of that audio to give it that buff and overall production quality. My goal here is to provide an educational format for you guys to take and then go teach other people, thus us building a larger community of all of us content creators helping each other out. I did want to make another video. I'd love to hear y'all's feedback on it. I was thinking about focusing uh, and creating a single video on the auto gating feature built into Premiere Pro. If you have a loud air conditioning, if you record in a room with really hard surfaces and you're starting to get reverb or you're hearing computer fans humming in the back of your audio, this auto gating feature actually does its job to remove those lower decibel noises out uh, and you can clean up your audio a lot better and that way you don't have any hum or any extra noise in that voiceover or podcast that you're looking to record. So if that's something you'd be interested in, please let me know. More than happy to record that for you guys. If I breezed over a topic, went too quickly over a certain point, again, Everything goes down in the comment section. I will be active on replying to you guys. So again, thank you so much for watching the video. My name is Andrew Stockton, and we'll catch you next time.